It has been called one of the most entertaining nights of the year. The Project Success Drug Education Program once again packed the Red Oak High School Cafetorium for this year's 2008 Mr. and Ms. Red Oak Pageant. For more on this, we go to Hawkeye News reporter Jennifer Terry to tell us all about the big winners. Jennifer? Thanks, ladies. You're right. The pageant was a real crowd pleaser, and the big winners are drug-free Red Oak ISD students who will benefit from the money raised at this year's pageant. The pageant was once again a great show, much to the hard work and effort of pageant coordinator Michelle Border. The pageant featured eight contestants this year. Representing Eastridge Elementary was Kim Rogers. Mrs. Lori Walton represented Red Oak Elementary, with Shields representative Sarah Watson, Wooden representative Shirley Todd, and Red Oak High School being represented by Mrs. Rhonda Dolworth. On the men's side, it was a great deal of fun as Coach Marty Farrell represented Red Oak Junior High Mr. John Wood, Red Oak West Campus. Mr. Mark Higginbotham represented Red Oak Intermediate. While the event is not too serious, it is a lot of fun each year and is talked about for weeks and months following the event. The theme of this year's pageant was folklore and fairy tales. And this year's pageant was truly a great deal of fun and you can bet students and adults who attended will have lots to talk about. Leading off the show was some awesome dancing by ROHS students Jonathan Trailer and Mohammed Ahawani, who wowed the crowd before the contestants took the stage. The winners of the Penny Campaign were Wooden Elementary, who donated over $600, with great contributions by several other campuses as well. The most in attendance trophy went to Shields Elementary by only three attendees over Wooden. In the 2008, Mr. Red Oak was announced by the cheers of the junior high students in attendance as Coach Marty Farrell, also known as Paul Bunyan, won the crowd, along with Miss Red Oak 2008 from Shields Elementary was Miss Sarah Watson, who competed as the character Fiona. All the contestants really did an outstanding job, and the crowd who braved the rain had a fun night that raised in all $5,489.52, which included a very generous donation by Mr. Danny Humphrey of State Farm Insurance. The pageant was a great deal of fun, and for all involved, we would like to remind viewers that Project Success Drug Education is much more than a fifth grade drug program. It also supports organizations such as Hawkeye News and Had It. Recently, the Had It Mentor Program held another great mentor event, the Mentor Winter Carnival. The Winter Carnival was held on Saturday, February 2nd from 6 to 9 p.m. at the high school cafeteria and featured the highest attended mentor event in the program's history. Over 80 students from grades 4 through 6 attended the free event sponsored by Hadit and Project Success. High school mentors visited and led games such as Twister and Cake and Cookie Walks, along with a huge bounce house set up in the cafeteria, some great music from Tejano DJ Panic, dance contests, and a chance to throw a pie at Chief Lindsay 
and our Had It president Brandon Adamchek and lots of free CeCe's pizza and sodas. The event was a chance for high school students to show our younger students that you can have a great deal of fun without drugs, alcohol, or other destructive behaviors. If you would like to learn more about Project Success Had It or the Mentor Program, you can check out the Hawkeye News website or call Red Oak ISD Police for more information. Reporting for Hawkeye News, I'm Jennifer Terry. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Jennifer. Sounds like a lot of fun at both the pageant and the Mentor Carnival. I know the Project Success Parents Committee does a great deal of work on these events.